Praying bit by bit, I will show images of focal cortical dysplasia or FCD type 2. FCD is a malformation of cortical development that is very epileptogenic. In fact, it is so epileptogenic that we never see it as an incidental finding and patients invariably present with epilepsy. As we all know, especially since Wilder Penfield drew his homunculus on the motor and sensory cortex in the 1950s, each location of the brain has a different function. So the seizure type in FCD depends on the location of the abnormality. We will also talk a little bit about the normal layering of the neocortex and the abnormalities in FCD. And we will talk about the development of the neocortex, especially of the glutamate neurons. On MRI, on T2 and flare images as in this case, in FCD type 2, there is hyperintensity of the cortex and subcortical white matter, blurring of the gray-white matter interface, thickening of the cortex, and sometimes you see a transmental sign, which is high signal in extensing from the ventricle all the way up to the cortical abnormality. The size of the FCD can vary from very small and subtle to very large, as you see on the flare and coronal inversion recovery weighted images of this patient in the left occipital lobe. The normal human neocortex consists of six layers in which the neurons and glial cells are arranged. Layer 1 is located on the outside, near the subarachnoid space, and layer 6 borders the white matter. When the cortex develops, layer 1 is formed first, and then the layers are formed from an inside-out matter, so layer 6 before layer 2. And I thought this was remarkable because then these neurons have to pass the already migrated neurons. But when I realized that layer 4, 5 and 6 have the connections with the brainstem and thalamus, and layer 2 and 3 have the cortical, cortical connections, it made more sense. In focal cortical dysplasia type 2, there is no normal six-layered cortex. You can recognize a little bit of layer 1, and then everything is mixed up. The neurons are dysmorphic with abnormal glutamate receptors and abnormal glutamate transporters, which might explain why it is often refractory to anti-epileptic drugs. And the difference between type 2A and type 2B is the presence of balloon cells large cells with a lot of cytoplasm, which partly explain the high T2 signal. When we go a little bit back to how the cortex is formed, we can look at images from an eight-week-old human embryo that I took from this very great website that's very educational and I thank the authors for sharing their knowledge. And if you zoom in, there's the ventricle here and the subarachnoid space above. And these are proliferating and dividing neurons in the ventricular layer. And then the neurons migrate along a radial glial cell to the cortex. And this is the cortical plate, which is the precursor of the cortex. And you can divide it into three steps. There's proliferation in the ventricular layer, migration, and then cortical organization in the cortical plate. 
And you would think that with a cortical dysplasia, something is wrong with the organization. But in FCD type 2, there's already something wrong with the proliferation, with the stem cells, which explains why you have high signal all the way from the ventricle to the cortex. So the entire migratory traject is abnormal. This are red images where you can see the ventricular zone and the cortical plate again. The green thing here is the radial glial cell going, climbing up to the cortex. And from this radial glial cell, a neuron is born. And the neuron goes along the radial glial cell to the cortex. And it is thought that the balloon cells are precursor of the radial glial cells. As I said, because of the different glutamate receptors of the dysmorphic neurons, and also because the balloon cells might influence the extracellular glutamate a little bit, it's often refractory to drugs. So surgery is a good option for focal cortical dysplasia type 2. And um, it has good results. And that's probably also because it is so well demarcated on MRI. Thanks for watching and until next time when we will talk about FCD type 1.